Hey guys, it's Becca, and before I start this video, I just want to say that I'm sorry for how the editing is going to be. I'm not going to be able to edit it because I'm away on holiday in the background, explain, um, and I don't have my laptop and I can't edit, and I'm talking quietly because um, there's stuff going on, blah blah blah. Anyway, not the point. So basically, this week on Daily Cup of Us, it is story week, I think. Yes, yeah, story time week. So we have to share with you guys something that we think is worth sharing with you. So I am a very clumsy person. Um, sorry. <laughs> I am a very clumsy person and I always like mess up badly. Um, and I'm going to be sharing with you guys two of my most embarrassing stories that I can think of. There's probably like way more, but I just can't think of them on the spot. So let's just get started. So the first story was last year I think yeah it was last year and me and three of my friends were temping bowling and we came back and we decided to take a shortcut because we were meeting one of my friend's mums at the supermarket um so we went down the shortcut and I was like to them I can't do it because I'm not very flexible as you can tell probably and um, I was like, no, I can't do it because there's a fence we had to jump and there was a steep hill. I was like, no way, I can't do it. And they're like, sure you can, it's fine, Becca. So I was like, fine, I'll do it. So um, so we went down the hill and I was like, oh my gosh, I can't do this. And I did one of those cartoon slips, you know, the ones where like they go like, whoa, 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 whoa. And then they fall. I did one of them and then I fell and they were laughing at me so much and I was covered, absolutely covered in mud. like my top, my leggings, my hair, everything covered. And then I got up and then I did it again. I did another cartoon when I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. And I fell again. And then we went over the fence and I got stuck going over the fence and I was honestly covered in mud. Like I was just, you could barely even see me. I was so covered in it. So then we were walking to the supermarket while I was, I was kind of waddling cause you know, I was covered in mud. And we saw someone coming to us and we were like, we know him. And it was a boy from our class and he came up to us and I looked like I pooed myself. And it was so embarrassing and it was just like, um, you all right? And I'm like, oh my goodness. And then we got to the supermarket and I, when me and my friend, when she came to the bathroom with me, we were like, right, we'll wash it off. And I had to walk through the supermarket and everyone was staring at me like everyone and it was just so embarrassing like probably not everyone was looking at me but it just felt because as soon as I walked past everyone was like I was like Ugh. so sorry I keep having my blanks okay so my second story was in primary seven that's the equivalent of being 11 and um it was so embarrassing. So it was a Christmas dance. Um, you know, we have them every Christmas, you get dressed up, you go and you do dances, all that kind of stuff. That's why it's called a Christmas dance. <laughs> anyway, um, so I had had I had this beautiful uh, blue dress and it's one of those dresses, I think it's called a pixie dress. It's like short at the front and then it's like longer at the back. It was a style that was really in then. And I had got this beautiful dress and um, I was feeling really nice and the bell had gone, you know, the bell that tells you you have to come in now and everyone was lined up but I was in a little bit later so I was walking across the playground and um, everyone was staring at me I was like, okay, this is a good thing because that means I, like, my, hard work, my hard work has paid off and everyone was staring at me and it was really nice, you know, and I was walking and this was like my first time wearing heels, right, so it was not my fault and like I said, the back of my dress was longer. So as I was walking across our playground, which is just like where all the classes were around it, lined up, and the playground was right in the middle. So like I was center, center. And my heel caught the back of my dress, which caused me to fall flat on my face in front of everyone. And then I picked back myself like I was like, right, let's just pretend that didn't happen. And then I started hopping because I was holding my shoe. So I was hopping on my heel, which caused me to fall again and rip the back of my dress. 
everyone was staring and I had my tights had ripped um, I had muck all over me my like I said my dress was ripped and then I came up to my class and everyone was like and everyone was laughing and the teacher was like oh are you okay I'm like I'm fine I'm fine I'm fine and then to make matters worse when I came to the back of our queue because we were going in as a class a girl in the class had the same dress as me and she looked beautiful her dress was all nice and everything and mine was ripped and battered and I will probably be known as the girl who fell over in her pixie dress for the rest of my life pretty much so I'm really sorry that this video is so unorganized and I'm just really really sorry but 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 but, but also we just want to say a huge thank you to you guys for 100 plus subscribers it honestly means so much to me and the girls and <laughs> on Instagram when um Faith messaged us all and she was like, we are almost at 100 subscribers. We were like, whoop, whoop. So we're just really thankful for all your support. And like I said, I'm so sorry for the quality of this video. I promise it will be better next week. So please give this a video a thumbs up if you are clumsy like me. And if you have any embarrassing stories, then, you know, we can share them. And I, I feel your pain, bro. So, yeah, I will see you guys next Monday. Bye.